Galaxy is the easiest way to deploy your Meteor applications. Brought to you by the company behind Meteor. In this video, we're going to get started with Galaxy and show you some of the key features and reasons why thousands of users trust their production applications to Meteor Galaxy. Let's go ahead and head to galaxy.meteor.com and sign in with your Meteor account. If you don't have an account already, you'll have to create one. After signing in, you'll see your dashboard, along with any of the applications you have up and running. Now deploying an application with Meteor Galaxy is simple. The first thing we'll need to do, however, is make sure we have our database configured. Because Galaxy does not host your database for you, you'll need to have a database hosted somewhere. MLab.com, as well as Compose.com, are great places to host your MongoDB database for production quality databases. Simply create an account on either of these sites, create your database, and create a user for that database. Once we have the database configured, you'll need to add the Mongo URL to your settings.json file using a galaxy.meteor.com environment variable. Once we have this in our settings file, we can go ahead and use the one line deploy command for Meteor Galaxy. Let's head to our terminal. And now from the root of our application, we simply need to type deploy underscore hostname in all capitals is equal to galaxy.meteor.com. Then we can space meteor space deploy space and then the host name. Now the host name is going to be the domain that you're going to be using for this site. In this case, my domain is just to do demo.meteorapp.com. Notice how I'm not using HTTP or HTTPS here. Now I can say hyphen hyphen settings to point to my settings file. Since the settings file we had was just settings.json in the root of our document, we simply just have to say settings.json. Now at this point, you can hit enter. And if you're not logged in on the command line, Meteor will ask to authenticate you. If you're logged in, however, Meteor Galaxy is going to deploy your application. Let's head back to our dashboard. If this is a new application, you would see your application showing up in your apps. You'll notice as the application is pushed, we have some activity over here in our right hand column where it says that I've deployed to do react.meteor.com. Now let's check out some of the settings that these applications will have. To access an application's particular settings, we can simply select the application from our apps list. We now have all sorts of information from the performance to the amount of connections, the CPU load, the memory percentage, and the amount of containers. This is where you'll come to access all sorts of data about how your application is performing in real time. If we scroll up, we can select settings from the far right of the navigation. Now, if we scroll down, we can add new domains under domains and encryption. Simply by just selecting add new domain, you can enter your new domain. As long as your domain's DNS is pointing to Meteor Galaxy, then that domain will then work. If you need to add encryption, an SSL certificate to your site, simply select encryption, and then we can select generate certificate. If you already have your own certificate, you can always select Upload Certificate and choose the key and certificate files. This will allow you to quickly and easily add SSL certificates to your web app. Now, if we need to stop or delete our application, we just head down here to the Danger Zone, where we can simply stop or delete our application. Deleting an application will shut down all the containers and will remove it from Galaxy entirely. Next, if we head up to our navigation once more, we can select logs and see that if we're having any issues with our web application, they're going to be here nice and bold and red for us to see. For instance, in the initial deploy, the Mongo URL was not set. Because of that, the application was not able to start and our Galaxy logs have let us know that there was this error and we were able to fix that with the recent deployment. If you'd like to filter it by all errors, we can simply just select errors right here and see only the errors and not just all of the messages. If you scroll all the way to your bottom of your logs, your logs will then become auto-scrolling. 
That way, if you have any new errors, they're going to just pop up in here and you can see them in real time. Now, if we scroll back up, we can now select containers. And as you can see, we now have direct access to our performance of our individual containers. If we need to scale our application up and have more containers, we simply just need to select the up arrow here. And as you can see, Meteor Galaxy is going to set up an entirely new container for us. And once that's complete, we'll get a message here in real time. As you can see, as our second container is spinning up, we now have our new container listed here under performance. After our container has finished loading, we now have a green circle here and our container is up and running. Scaling up your application is as easy as just adding new containers to meet the demand of your application's use. In addition to scaling up via adding containers, you can also head to settings, scroll down to scaling, and you can actually change the size of your containers. Let's select change. And as you can see, we're currently using the compact container size. To scale up the container size, we can simply select choose and our containers are now being resized. Now you'll notice that after we scale up our containers to the one gigabyte size, we now have high availability turned on. High availability just means that your containers will now be in different AWS availability zones. This gives you added reliability to your application. You can see that as we deploy our application, you'll notice that the update rolls through your containers where we can see that this container is on version four of our application while these three are still on version three. Now after that container completes getting set up, the next one in line will then be upgraded to the latest version to make sure that you have zero downtime when deploying your applications. Lastly, if you're having issues with your Meteor Galaxy, you can always head to Docs in the top right and head to the documentation where you can find all the information you need to know about how to set up your application on Meteor Galaxy. If you need support, you can head to your menu in the top left and select support, where you now have the ability to send a request to help get support. In addition, if we head back to our menu, we can also head to Galaxy Status Report, where we can see the status of the Galaxy system as a whole. That way we can check on things like scheduled maintenance, and just see exactly how the Meteor system is running. In addition, we can subscribe to updates in case you want to be notified with alerts of system status and upgrades made to Meteor Galaxy. Meteor Galaxy is the only platform as a service designed specifically for Meteor applications. Deploy your application to Meteor Galaxy and find out why thousands trust their production applications to Meteor Galaxy.